We did the last two examples using cold dye and now we need to heat it up so that the colour will be colour fast. We're going to create a primitive steamer and to do this you need to use a couple of plastic bags. It doesn't matter if you use recycled bags for this. You're going to take the bundle in the plastic bag and put it into a second bag and twist it up. Then you're going to put it into a third bag. Three bags will ensure that you don't have too much moisture running out into your microwave oven. You will notice that I haven't tied a knot. If you do, the bag will expand with the steam and explode, giving you a massive fright. You can just put it onto the plate in the bottom of the microwave oven and switch it on. The question is always how long you need to heat it for. That will depend on a couple of factors. Firstly, how strong is your microwave oven? Secondly, how big is your bundle? And thirdly, what kind of fabric are you heating? You need to be quite careful with silk because otherwise you can burn it. Cotton will withstand greater temperatures. This particular bundle I'm going to heat for two minutes on medium high. My best advice is that you err on the side of caution. Put the bundle in for a little while, see if it's hot when you take it out, and if it isn't, turn it over and put it in for a little bit longer. Look at that, it's steaming hot. You can set up a series of buckets with clean water for washing out your bundle. At no stage during the washing process should you stop and leave the fabric lying in a wet crush. That's a very good way to mess up a fresh tie-dye. Once you've rinsed away all the excess dye, you can lay the fabric out flat somewhere to dry. Let's see how our tie-dye looks. It's a good idea to rinse off the worst of the excess dye in a bucket before you take off the bindings. Let's see what we've got inside. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. If you would like some more information about Mets Press books, you can go online to metspress.co.za and if you would like to learn more about fabrics and how to embellish them, you can visit my website at dyeandprints.co.za.